Mrs. Kears. Pennsylvania has one of the highest effective corporate net income tax rates in the country, maybe the highest. It does. Impeding our ability to attract new businesses, adding new jobs. What do you feel you could do to change this? Judy? We are already on track to start lowering. We've already, um, the uh, corporate stock and franchise tax is already on its way down. I definitely support uh, reducing the CNI. Businesses tell us all the time, particularly businesses that want to come in to Pennsylvania, that this is a huge problem for them. I, we're right up there. I think it's Minnesota is the other state that's as high as we are on the CNI. So we absolutely do need to get that down, and I support that initiative. I agree with the senator, but I also think that we need to get this corporate tax down now. I feel like, as an everyday person, there is so much red tape that we have to go through to start businesses, to get things going. I had a gentleman that one night I was talking um, to him at a door, and he said he's got $30,000 in fees for permits. And he has a timeline on those permits. And because of the red tape, he is unable to probably start the daycare that he's looking to. So if we can't become more business friendly and get this corporate tax down, um, we are not going to be able to have people start their businesses, which then in turn is not going to add to the economy. We're not going to be able to create jobs. And then it's just a big snowball effect. Senator, a follow-up? It's true when it comes to uh, making Pennsylvania a business-friendly place. There are a lot of things that we could do to improve. And actually things we don't have to pass laws to do and things that I've been working on even as a sitting senator to help cut that red tape. You know, sometimes PennDOT and DEP don't talk to each other. Imagine that. We, and, and businesses get caught in between two different agencies. We've been able to bring them together to talk about what can we do to get a project rolling and off of the drafting table and actually into, um, you know, into the development stages. We, need, we, we, ha we have to have a whole toolbox of things that we can do to help promote economic development in Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania's got to get serious about job development, and we haven't. We pick and choose who gets the money and who doesn't, and that's a problem. Mrs. Mobile. Thank you. Mrs. Kirst, do you have a follow-up? No, I don't. 